Hello guys and welcome to the Animflow Academy YouTube channel and today we're gonna go over on some tips and tricks and I wanna show you guys how to import your character into Unreal Engine 5 for our gameplay animation. If you don't know me, my name is Alex and I'm a gameplay animator at Riot Games on League of Legends. And let's go over... First, you need to find a game ready rig. For this example, I'm using the amazing Kill Figgins rigs. You have like several rigs here that it show, shows that it's gameplay export for Unity and Unreal, game ready assets. And for this example, I'm gonna use Melee here. So after buying this rig, what I like doing is opening up, checking the controllers, of course, checking everything. For this example, I like cleaning up the, the rig file, so I deleted all the other weapons except the staff. So I kept the staff in here and the rig. So I'm gonna go into File, Game Exporter, and here I'm gonna export my rig. Make sure to keep active Export All. I'm gonna turn on Smooth Mesh. I'm gonna click this in. I'm gonna choose a path which is gonna be inside my assets, my game export folder, and I'm gonna make a new a new folder inside here. I always keep everything very organized, very important. I'm gonna choose the folder, choose, and the file name is gonna be manly underscore YouTube. Cool. Press enter. You see the name here, manly underscore YouTube dot FBX. Click export, and we're gonna see it loading. Depending on your rig, it's it can take longer or shorter. So now I'm gonna open Unreal here. I have Unreal open and I keep moving my camera around so it doesn't cover anything. And I'm gonna go inside the characters folder and I'm gonna create a new folder. Uh, new folder, YouTube Melee. I'm gonna click import. If you don't have your content browser it's control spacebar it appears and then I like docking into the layout so I create a new folder I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna find my manly YouTube click open and here on these options just making sure if your character is too small too big make sure the export settings and your Unreal project settings are the same if it's centimeters. But if you need, I did notice some rigs, you had to scale 10 times. So it was still like setting up in, in Maya. You can always import with like a uniform scale, the skeleton. So I'm gonna click import all. It's gonna have some errors, not errors, but some warnings saying like some geometry have no name. You can ignore. And here we have our character inside Unreal. To import an animation inside this character, so I'm gonna save the all. And now I'm gonna open my idle animation. So I have my idle animation ready with my character. So I'm just gonna go again, file, game exporter. And here I'm gonna go on the tab animation clips. And right here, I'm gonna click on the plus sign, type the clip name, it's gonna be idle, start and end, it's gonna get by default your timeline. I don't need to change because my timeline is what I need. On the path, I'm gonna choose the same folder, YouTube export, idle.fbx. And now I'm gonna export this animation. Cool, I have my animation exported. Now I'm gonna come inside my folder, create a new folder called animations and here I'm gonna import all the animation clips. So I'm gonna click on the import button and now I have the idle FBX. I'm gonna open it and the main difference here I'm gonna turn off import mesh because I don't need to re-import the character I just need the animation on it. And then here where it says skeleton I'm gonna choose my manly YouTube skeleton, which is what we just imported. So I'm gonna click import all. After importing our idol, we can double click on it 
and we can check how the animation is playing in, in game and rotate around, check from every angle. Don't forget to turn on loop for true here on the assets detail after you double click. I'm gonna save it. And now if I, if I want to see this asset in game, I'm just gonna click and drag, rotate 90 degrees. That's the style of our game. And now when I play the game, I see the character in the idle position. So that, that's it, very quick tutorial, very quick tip on just how to bring the asset in game. If you're interested in more and you want to focus on your animation for gameplay in Unreal, make sure to check it out the Patreon. We're gonna go over all the process focusing in animation, not blueprinting, but focusing mostly in animation. And that's it. See you guys next time. Thank you.